Ganesh in Australia writes to me and he says, Paul, thank you for Audiophile's guide and its companion CD. My pleasure, sir. I'm glad you had a chance to try it out. So many people have written me. I mean, it's been great. It's really been gratifying after we produced the Audiophile's guide because so many people have benefited from it. That makes me happy. Uh, my question is, why do I need to purchase matched output tubes when I could simply use the bias adjustment? I know you're not a fan of power, uh, tube power amps, but it boils down to personal taste. Absolutely. I hope you could clarify this question for me, please. Plus, a small plug for the American companies like yourself, I'm using the Rogue Audio M180 monoblock amps. Good stuff. I'm using the, uh, uh, and trust me, I've had a few other makers uh, that worked as well, but the Rogue is my favorite, Ganesh. Well, Rogue Audio, uh, that's good stuff. Uh, good on you, sir. Okay, the main, so here, the reason we're standing here is this is our little um, tube testing area where we gain match tubes, and that's the key. The reason that we match tubes is to make sure their gains are the same. Bias, eh, not such a big deal. Gain, yes. So when you have output tube, and, and to be clear, I like vacuum tube power amplifiers. As I've said before, I want the vacuum tube on the input stage, not on the output, but rogue disagrees with me. And they make great sounding amps. I mean, I, look, I just don't do it. But there are some fabulous sounding tube power amplifiers out there. Oh my gosh. I remember the giant sonic frontiers that Arnie used to have. I mean, those suckers were huge. And before that, he had Jadis. And man, they were good sounding. I mean, they were great sounding amplifiers. Just not my particular cup of tea. But I love the way they sound. So tubes, vacuum tubes, have something called transconductance. And that is a measure of the gain of the tube. In other words, when I put a signal in, how big of a signal do I get out? And that varies from vacuum tube to vacuum tube. There's a range that, say, a 12AX7 might have, but within that range, they vary wildly. So everything that we do with our vacuum tubes, like these two, they have to be matched within half a dB. It's about the max that will allow it. So that's why you match tubes. The gains, not the bias. Hope that helps. Thanks, Ganesh. Talk to you tomorrow.